this greatness? Yo, what's up? This is Grip. And y'all gonna have to check me out on the next episode of I Only Touch Greatness with my boy Ryan and my boy Royal, because that's just gonna be lit. Tap in. Can, can you tell me the story of how Ice T found you when you were like 14? Um, yeah, so I went in. Like I said, I was I was starting to do a lot of shows, and I, my mom was like, let's put you in a, a hip-hop competition. And um, ASCAP Publishing had um, this this competition, and I uh, got got in it, and it, I think it was like three levels. And um, I think that that's how I met Coolio, too, because he would come and support, like, the competition and, like, the young artists and stuff. He was always so cool. But um, yeah, yeah. basically, Ice T, so they promised you if you make it to the finals, we're going to have A&R, we're going to have stars there. So that was the thing. So when I made it to the finals and um, – this OG from LA named Michael Concepcion, I guess he had been at the semifinals and saw me. And he, he, he told ice, he called me over to the table where ice was sitting. He had his locs on. He was real young, you know, ice back then. He's like this. And the guy's like, this, this is, this is my girl. This, this little girl's heart. She's going to go up and rock the stage. I want you to check her ice. And ice was like, cool. And he's just, and I'm like, hi. So I go up there and rock the stage. And, um, afterwards, he found me in the um in the in like the building and um and he was like come to my house tomorrow like i like you come to my house and uh and i think he like basically like signed me the next day gave me gave me and my mom some bread like a fat fat check we thought we was rich we, uh my mom turned in our vw bug we had had a green bug at the time and she went and gave that motherfucker uh, a back or some shit, and we went and got a Jeep Cherokee. So we thought we were on. So that's the story. Right. What's I was about to say, man, uh, R.P. the Coolio, man. And uh, I was just watching the Hip Hop Treasures um, um, episode, and it really was sentimental to me because it was just like, yo, watching that, it was like one of the last episodes and it was crazy because of the story of it because you know we got to interview coolio man and he was so cool and yeah. he was so dope and i remember one thing they did you know what i'm saying and shout out to mimi his wife one thing they did he posted me on his um TikTok, and i was did like he? yo yeah yeah because uh -oh. i said um happy birthday to him because we talked about hand on my nutsack uh -oh. and it was so crazy because ice t and Coolio had their own episode, right? So I'm like, yo, this is fucking epic. If this is two people that actually saved my life in this music in general because I didn't really have, I mean, my dad was there, but he didn't really wanted to, he didn't really get to, you know, do what he wanted to do. So I always feel like music raised me, you know what I'm saying? Because I was so in love with music and our favorite, you know, my favorite. Like my first CD I ever had was Gangster's Paradise, and wow. my, my like the first like movie that I always remember watching is Colors. You know what I'm saying? I used to be so intrigued with Colors. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was just like yeah, and coming from there, and then I looked at it, and I was like, wow, this is fucking crazy. And this was right after his birthday, and right after his death, and it was and it's so crazy because I never I never got the chance to talk about this right. Mm. Um, I talked after he passed, like, I figured like nine times out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just like, you trying to sell everything in, man. And I was just, I went back to the video cause I'm like, man, he just posted me on this video. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like one of the last, like right after the billion dollars, um, <clears throat> the billion dollar, um, not billion dollars, but the billion views that he got for Guest his paradise. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. And then I'm just like, and I'm like, I'm maybe like, maybe like the second video out of it. But I didn't care about that. I just went back to the video, right? And I look and I see a notification. And guess who liked it? I'm like, yo, shit, it's L Cool J. I'm like, yo, this is fucking crazy. And now I remember watching the Hip Hop Treasures, watching that. 
And then I hear, you know, Cypher Sounds and all of them was talking about it. He was like, yo, we just had him on the show before he passed. It was just like oh. crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I take it sentimental because it's just like, wow. You know what I mean? Because that's how cool cool yo is. And I figure like how all, all of our favorite, you know what I'm saying, rappers is. You know what I'm saying? That came yeah. from humble beginnings. Yeah. And it, it was crazy. It's fucked me up because... When I think about that, that's what made me want to do interviews like this anyway. You know what I mean? To give roses and flowers too, because 